So I'm getting ready to do the earth sign reading. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. And this could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they are attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or in the future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. So let's see, what do we have for earth signs? Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. You have the Six of Swords popping out in the reverse. So somebody feels stuck. And then you have the Ace of Cups. You have temperance. So somebody feel <sighs> it's like they're stuck because they didn't accept something or this person is someone who is feeling like they can't move forward because they could be in their emotions. It's like they've developed feelings for another person. They want to express how they feel to get something balanced out or they're just realizing that they're in love with someone and they just can't move on. You have the King of Wands. And you have the Queen of Wands. And you have the Sun. So these two people could be um, divine counterparts. This could be someone that's realizing that another person is their divine counterpart. These could be two different people who both want something to be balanced out. Both of these people have emotions for each other. It's like somebody could have tried to move on from this, but they can't. This could be you or another person. Yeah, they feel like they did something careless in the past. Something irresponsible. This person could have lied about something. They could have been dealing with someone that was a liar, somebody that was very childish. Um or immature and they were providing for that person given to that person and whatever that person was given to them they wanted them to think that that was equal equal give and take and they didn't have much to offer that person this could have just been lust And they were taking advantage of that person like on purpose. They didn't care. But somebody could have been confused. Like whoever this person is that is in love, they can't move on. They want something balanced out with you. They felt like they acted careless or irresponsible in the past. Um, they were under the impression that this person, um, that, that, that lust was love. And now it's like they're finally moving on from that person. And this person could be stressed out. Like they're in the nine of swords. Yeah, because this person has stopped communicating with them. Like they could have ghosted them. It's like one person is in the nine of swords because this person have ghosted them. Another person is in a nine of swords because 
they're realizing after they could have ghosted you that they can't move on. Like, they're in love with you. But they've also got enlightened. They found out that you're their divine counterpart. Yeah, this is someone who found out you're their twin flame. Then you have haters. So this person could have haters around them. Or they're ending out of cycle with people that um, they're realizing they have some type of animosity, hate, envy towards you or could be towards them. You have powerful ancestors and then you have Taurus. And one of these people could have been a Leo. One of these people could have been a Cancer. You have karmic justice. So these were people that this person definitely needed to end a cycle out with. Um, this was more than one person. But one person was very needy and codependent. And something could have came out about that person, but... Um, Maybe this person is someone who just didn't believe it. But once they realize this, like this person was someone that lied. That person is someone that's irresponsible. This is someone who, you know, they didn't care. They didn't care about them. They don't care about their self because they expected for this person to take care of them. Once they realize all of this, it's like they had ghosted you. Yeah, once they found out the truth, then you have new love. This person could be stressed out because they feel like you're manifesting new love. But they also, um, it's like once they found out the truth, this is someone who started focusing on their own stability and they're, they're wanting to manifest new love. Yeah, somebody went through a lot of hardships with financial lacks with whoever this needy and um, codependent person is that was um, expecting for them to take care of them. If this was some type of toll on them, some type of baggage with the Ten of Wands in the reverse, they've released all of this um, baggage. Yeah, but they're suffering in silence now that they have found out the truth. And they're watching you. Now, whoever this person is that they have released and they've ended a cycle out with, that person has some type of strong hate. It's like they got so stressed out to the point where they tried to create some type of chaos and conflict in this person's life. Because they could no longer be attached to this person. They don't want to be responsible for their self. And it's like they had to be responsible for their self. You have message of concern. And then you have wealthy man. And then imprisonment. Wow. So this person... They got, up, they got upset and they could have did something to have this person sent to jail. If they, if they felt like they were going to make this person lose whatever financial stability that they had. They wanted that person to hit rock bottom. Like this was like some type of ultimate betrayal. 
You have adjudication. Yeah, this was definitely a legal situation. We have unexpected income. So somebody was paid. Somebody was paid to send another person to jail, have them dealing with a legal situation. And they felt like this person would come back towards them or this would prevent that person from going towards a relationship after they ended something out with them. Yeah, this will keep that person distant from getting in another relationship or a connection. I'm so done. Yeah, this was to make that person feel like, hey, I can't move on. Um, I'm going through too many challenges. Now is not the right time. But this has helped whoever your twin is do a lot of inner work. So this has helped them to take out the time to heal different things that they could have been avoiding. But this person felt like they would prevent that person from getting in a relationship and they would get that person back from, you know, not, not being responsible for them anymore. They didn't know whatever they were doing was a waste of time for them, but this was going to benefit whoever your twin is. These challenges help them to change. Yeah, this person wants to tell you that um, they want to be in a relationship with you, a commitment. And they're paying attention to you. They're watching you. They're focused on you. They only have their eyes on you. Yeah, they feel like... <laughs> They feel like whoever this person is is someone who intentionally like lied. They were being sneaky because they thought that they were always be able to manipulate this person, use this person, trick this person, and they did not they they, they didn't expect for that person to move on. They depended on that person for stability. It's like they put all of their eggs in one basket and they didn't um you know sit back and think what would happen if this person was to go through some type of hardship and they would not be able to take care of them? They weren't thinking that far. So if they were trying to cause a setback for this person, it only helped them. Yeah, it definitely helped them to move beyond some type of illusion that they felt like they would place over that person. And if they pay different people to do something deceptive, to have this person sent back to jail or to get picked up, this created a lot of challenges in their life because now they can't move on. It's like they're forced to face something that they did not want to face. And it's being responsible for their self. This was definitely a karmic relationship. They didn't want this person to release them. It's like they're stuck in the past and they felt like they would force that person to stay in the past. With some type of deception. Yeah, this, but this helped this person to... um view life a whole nother way, view the situation a whole nother way. Now that person, after doing this inner work, they feel at one with their self. Like they only see their self growing from here. Especially if they've gotten out of whatever this legal situation is. Yeah, somebody have went through a rebirth. And yeah, they've went within. It's like this person have been healing. 
you have beyond illusion yeah this helped them change their whole perception about this person whoever you are about life and they've ended out a cycle now you have jealous family members here this person could have um different people that could have knew that this person was someone that was interested in you this could have been family members friends but somebody was jealous outside of whoever the person is that they're no longer attached to and they're viewing them as haters now somebody definitely um if it wasn't the person that paid people to lie on this person to have them sent back to jail it was somebody else here that lied this could have been somebody that told some type of lie on you and they're realizing that this person lied because they were um, jealous. And as I said, that could have been a family member or friend, somebody that they could have um, confided in or they just felt like they could trust. But it's like all of this has helped this person realize The things that they need to change in their life so they can end out this cycle that they had to complete yeah so karmic justice could be served on their behalf 